Are you excited for upcoming tax season? I am. So in this video, let's go over the updates for our favorite tax software, ProConnect 2024. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kat, so I have more than 10 years of tax preparation and review experience at the big four companies at music uh, business management, and I've been freelancing working for myself for the last four years. So this channel, I'll be posting lots of videos as I go through having my small tax preparation business, right? So hopefully that will be useful for you. And maybe it will inspire you to become tax prepared one day. So I'll be talking about that stuff as well. So please sign up to my channel and let's dive in into the topic. ProConnect 2024. How excited are you for a tech season? So let's start with my uh, features that I think is the most awesome that I discovered this year. Uh, so they added really cool import function. Uh, so when we go to this uh, thing, when it, we go to welcome part on ProConnect, it tells us like a couple of things and some of them are kind of new or not. But I just figured that this year a certain feature just works so great. So for example, there's a multi multiple way to import uh, to ProConnect. Uh, so for example, we have this individual text return 1040. So we can go on any data entry, for example, W2 and we can upload W2s. So let's just do this one. Uh, so after we upload W2, it's supposed to easily can import any document we want. Uh, let's say, let's see, actions. So it's right here. Now we're under W2, uh, my bad. Let's just take a look, W2s. And now let me add new, go to the import. Yeah, so you, right here I can press the import. And after I press import, it supposedly tells me, do I want to add it to the previous uh, employer name on the new one? So for me, it's a new one. And just in a couple seconds, it's going to generate all the information from W2 that I can compare. And it's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. I don't think it's perfect, but it's pretty accurate. So I'm super excited about that. That will save us so much time. Uh, now let's try another one. Let's try interest income, for example. But it should work exactly like uh, W2 just did. So we just go right here to import. We upload the documents and uh, I already uh, uploaded W, um, sorry, 1099 interest. So now I will just import the information. Uh, so let's go for a new 1099 interest. So this one should be pretty easy because it's like one number, but it's just in a second. I have all the information here, but did it import this box 187? I don't know. Let's take a look. So it also told me just now, as you saw in the corner, that the document was from prior year and just to make sure if I want to use it or not, because, you know, uh, well, unfortunately, it didn't import the uh, number, but it's okay. It's a work in progress, but then it imported so much information right here and you can do it in bulk. So you can just upload all the documents under documents and just kind of like import them. So it's pretty cool. I love it. So this is like cool feature. I think it was present last year, but this year it's actually works. So I love it. Just a side note, I'm also teaching online on how to use different kind of tech softwares. So I can just kind of quickly uh, show you how the courses looks like. So there's individual uh, tax preparation course where I talk about like how to prepare taxes and how to use specific uh, tax software and it's like I don't know I think it's like 35 lessons also there is a business course and it's like 15 uh, lessons that I'm talking about S Corp C Corp partnership tax returns so if you're inspired tax preparer who wants to start your own business or wants to learn the tax preparation process or specific tax software check it out my website remotecpanla.com well I'm sorry to interrupt you let's get back to video Another one, a really cool one, is that your client can import um, uh, under client portal, your clients can connect their financial uh, institutions. So if you take a look right here, 
you can say you can get uh, your client can go to get my form and connect any financial institution you want which is pretty cool and then we know about k1 import and all that kind of stuff so that's easy so that is super cool another cool option tax plans so like they say that uh this is the only tax software that give you advisory tool it is correct no other ones do so we can try it now and we can just go to this tax advisory uh, website and we can create tax plans so it kind of like explains you what to do uh, so you just go to any clients any tax return you have and you can play around by creating tax plans and i think this is really 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 cool and now let's see what else they say it's new for 2024 so they have this protection plan plan for business tax returns so i kind of looked into it but honestly i don't know if it's for me but maybe it will be for somebody so you can pay a certain fee and it doesn't say how much right here but i think i saw it somewhere oh see pricing so you can pay a certain fee and they kind of like take care for audits protection if you ever if your client ever got audited so they communicate with that um, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but they added this function. I think good to know it's there. And then let's see, more information will be out of fill, prior year import. So that's cool. K1 package delivery. That's actually really nice. So it will be a secure download link created for a partner so they can download it because beforehand we used to mail it, right? So we can just download PDF and find a way to mail it. So this is cool. This is really nice. IRS transcript that was there last year, but now I think they just made it so much better and yeah and more more stuff will be just kind of like better out of flow so super cool super exciting and it just the way it looks i mean pro connect is just so beautiful it and here you go they just kind of added more information for us so we know where to find stuff uh we can convert data and this is what i was just showing Anyway, well, that's that's a little bit different. So if you have a different tax software, any tax software you had before, you can convert your data and kind of like upload it and, you know, use it here. So pretty awesome. And I think this thing should be free because they want you to start in ProConnect. And tax return, tax plan, clients, client portal reporting. Uh, yeah, so everything else kind of stays the same. But I mean, honestly, that's um import things that i showed you at the beginning i think it's fascinating so i'm super excited to start using the pro connect i wish you good luck this tech season let me know if you have any questions hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel like the video comment below that would make such a big difference for me and i would know that some people are watching those videos and they're useful so i can keep going with this youtube channel Thank you so much and have a great day.